How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping and today I'm going to be doing a QuickBooks tip on using the memorized transactions in QuickBooks. Uh, first thing to note here, if you're watching this on YouTube, change the quality settings to the highest available um, to watch this in full screen. Um, with memorized transactions, we're going to go over the types of transactions that you can memorize, how you actually memorize a transaction and what the details of that are, and then going over the memorized transaction list. So let's get started with our sample company, Vandalay Industries. Um, within QuickBooks, <clears throat> there's a lot of different types of transactions you can memorize, invoices, um, bills, checks, journal entries, stuff like that. I'm going to go over some of the more common ones. And let's start with a check. Um, let's say this check to Bob Sacramento, our, our subcontractor. Um, let's say this is a weekly subcontract services. He charges us 500 a week. And we pay this via ACH, so it comes right out of our account. Well, let's go ahead and right-click on this. You can right-click and hit Memorize Check. You can go to Edit and hit Memorize Check. Or you can see the shortcut is Control-M. So... Let's just memorize it, and you can call it whatever you want, Bob Sacramento uh, Weekly. It, it is does have a limit on how long this can um, this can be, so let's call it Bob Sacramento Pay. Now you can see we can add it to the list, don't remind me. Um, this one is set up ACH, let's just do automate it, and then it will go through the rest. How often? Well, this is a weekly payment, and... That one we had set up on 7-11. He gets paid every Wednesday, let's say. So let's just call this 7-18. Number remaining, maybe it's 20, maybe it's unlimited. Uh, let's leave like that. And let's say, hey, we're going to enter this three days in advance. Um, that way, every time you start up your QuickBooks, if it's three days prior to this transaction, it's going to say, should we enter this? And you'll say yes. Okay, so that one's done. Um, let's do a bill. We have a bill to the Ross Foundation and this is for a monthly contribution to a human fund so let's go ahead and hit control M now a different way to do it and let's automate this one um, this is a monthly one and happens on the first of every month let's do this uh, 10 days in advance and we'll save that uh, lastly let's just do a quick journal entry um, pretty common one would be you know your dep monthly depreciation so if you go to company make journal entries and let's do this on the first of the month call it depreciation let's say it's five hundred dollars uh, to record monthly depreciation and then your offset there and that's it uh, let's go control M again automate this on a monthly basis uh, we did this on 7-1, so the next one's going to be 8-1, and we're going to do this one five days in advance. Now, let's see, monthly depreciation. And that's it. So that's a real quick tutorial on how to do it um, and what types of transactions. You can do the same thing with invoices if you see here. Um, you can memorize invoices. All sorts of things can be done. So lastly, let's just look at the memorized transaction list under lists, memorized transaction list. You can see all the stuff we have happening. Uh, the Bob Sacramento one's a check. It's a weekly check, and these are all set up on auto. If you want to do the, post this one in advance, you just double click on it, and it automatically brings it up. So. Pretty straightforward stuff there. Um, memorized transactions, definitely really powerful, great tool to use. Um, if you have any questions on this or anything else, feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to help you out. Have a great day.